welcome back Pokefans to the Pokemon Eon Guardians playthrough. So last episode we stormed the Pokerus lab in the Topaz Oasis. Turned out that Team Gaia had taken hostages and was after something. We beat their boss. Wasn't actually that hard of a battle, which was quite surprising. And then he basically got something from the archaeology department and then disappeared. We got given the item for rock smash so we can actually smash rocks now. So we're going to start making our way to Slateburg City and we're going to go back through the Devil's Reef and get all the items that we missed. We also went to a different area of Devil's Reef where you can get the TM4 Dark Pulse. So yep, yeah, today let's continue on up here I'm hoping that it's not too long to get to Slateburg City because last time we came through here I think we literally spent a whole episode the one benefit is going to be though that we've already beat all the trainers so we're not going to get slowed down that way and straight off the bat we can get a TM for Shadow Claw, not bad an item right oh oh uh, yeah you're you're the guy with the um the quest I don't know where that gem is though maybe we find it in here somewhere how did we not get this before okay so follow this round there's another item here We've got a max ether. There's nothing there. There's an item down here, which is a high potion, not bad. What about round no, not round there. definitely an item there which is a blue shard, there's another item up there as well if we can get down there I think that might be the last one what's this one? a shiny stone? okay Oh, I lied, there's one down here as well. A star piece. Oh, actually, if I remember right, when we get like towards the desert, I'm pretty sure there's some ladders that you can go down that takes you to another little area. Yeah, because that's the way we need to go. There's also an item here, which is the black glasses. Yes, I think it was these. And then you smash this. And we've got an escape rope. Some more ladders. Got, oh, okay, there's a quest item there. Maybe this is what we need for that gem collector. An amethyst nugget. You found a huge gem. This will surely convince the Rune Maniac to help you dig for items. What the hell? An Agron's just come out of nowhere. Wild Agron has approached you unnoticed. You seem to have invaded his home. I'm not going to lie. Imagine that actually happening in real life. In like a little cave. You would crap yourself. It's level 45 as well. Thankfully we've got a Torterra. Ah, oh, I forgot to take Gligar off the team. I was trying to put something on my team with um, so we could get progress and then I could put it back in the PC. Okay. This thing clearly can tank hits. There we go. Oh, bug boss. That's a big power improvement. 
Wardagon's disappeared into the depths of Devil's Reef. Yeah, I can't remember how you make the Pokerus attached to a new Pokemon. I thought you just had to have it in the party. Because I know if you put it in the PC, it stays, like, you, it doesn't go. And then you can use it to um, pass on to others. Okay. Mm, wheezing. We will switch. We haven't got God of War. Oh my god, this is going terribly. We get a crit though. I'll take that. Switch to Gligar. Maybe that's how it transfers over. Let's go Torterra. Take a swift. It's not really do much. Um, Drift Blim, we can go into Drapion. Go for a Night Slash. So at least we've ticked off one of the quests. I think that means we can dig now. Sphere's also the optimal shape in nature. Okay, I don't know what nonsense he's spouting. No, it still hasn't got Pokerus. Nor's Pachirisu, that's weird. Picked up a high potion there. Okay, so if we go down here, just gotta go back to where the gem collector was. Just right by the beginning. I think, anyway. Last time I came through here I absolutely flew because I remembered the way and now I forgot again. Okay, so up here. Oh yeah, yeah, and then it was down. Yeah, there he is. Hmm. So okay, this isn't a walk in the park. Um Holy crap, this this is the most gigantic amethyst nugget I've ever seen. You really seem to be a true gem lover. Here, yeah, I have some old equipment that you are welcome to have in exchange for this amethyst nugget. I've not used it for a long time, but it's still in very good shape. I'm not going to lie, but I'm pretty sure we could probably sell that nugget for a lot of money and buy our own equipment and still have money left over. So it doesn't really make sense, this. If you'd like to take lessons in digging, just come and see me. Why well, you want me to give you a lesson in digging up items? A lesson costs 2500 Okay. Can we find anything? Oh, no, it's just a heart scale. I'm pretty sure this is how you get the fossils. This isn't a fossil there. I'm pretty sure it's an odd keystone. Where else could an item be? Uh, this is going to be a red shard. Whatever this is, it's not going to be anything big. Ah, oh, that was probably the best thing there as well. I mean, 2,500 is expensive. I'm not going to lie. Um, I'm just going to quickly run back and put God of All back on the team for Gligar, and then we will carry on to Slateburg City. Okay, so. Let's continue through here. That is very blurry. Like, I genuinely cannot see a thing. Oh, what's going on? 
You feel like you're being watched. Something seems to be creeping around. Oh, snap. Three wild Pokemon have appeared out of nowhere. The wild Houndoom, Bennett, and Dusclop seem to threaten you. And now attack. We literally just got ambushed. All three of that 45 as well. Okay, um. What do we do? Icy Wind. Earthquake. Thank god that goes for Dark Pulse. It doesn't really do much damage. Earthquake takes out the hand doom though, which is the threat. Bennett's using Destiny Bond, fantastic. And Dusclops has just been an absolute jackass. Okay, air slash earthquake. Oh, Bennett's took down my Torterra. Oh, Dusclops lived. Okay, let's go Drake up. This is kind of the last thing I was expecting. It's pretty cool though, a 3 on 2 fight. Seem to be being retreated into the eerie darkness of Devil's Reef. I mean, we should have got through that without any casualties, but Destiny Bond, that's all I'm going to say. Okay then, continuing forward. We'll rock smash this. Got an item up here, which is a oh, magmarizer. That's perfect. Give that to magmar, and I think you just level it up. So we'll switch and lead with that. And we've arrived at Route 18. Got a sea incense. Isn't it just beautiful here to see this silence? Simply wonderful. Okay, so I'm assuming we have to surf then to Slateberg. Where's the map? We got Eternity Island. Oh, it's a bit of a trick actually. Got a Pokemon Center on, on Route 20. Crystal Heart Depths as well. So yeah, don't think we're going to be making it there today. We'll have to lead with Pachirisu. To be fair, I am going to try... Oh, there's a Whirlpool there. Maybe that's how you get to that island. Okay, you lead off with a Huntail. The sun in the background on this looks so good. Let's go for a nozzle. Oh, you got dive. Okay, Electro Ball should KO here. Sharpedo. Um, we can go Masquerade because it's Dark Type, isn't it? Maybe I should have taught Pachirisu Discharge. That Ice Fang hurts quite a bit. I think it's also significantly more enjoyable than swimming. I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember what he said in the first place. Um, super potion, um, masquerade. I have no idea if we're going the right way or not. All I know is that this seems like a pretty big area. No, that's not the way we need to go. To be fair, I would assume it'd be left. 
And yes, we are avoiding all of these trainers. Okay, now we're on Route 20, so looks like we're heading the right way. So we lead off with Float Soul, which has got Aqua Jet. Electro Web, Nozzle. And Electro Ball. Doesn't actually go for an Aqua Jet this time. Hold on and go masquerading again. Another water dart tie. And bug buzz. Now we need to find the shore even sooner. Yes, you do. Ooh, okay. Some waterfalls here. So this is clearly not the way to go. Oh, here we go. Got a dragon scale. Not bad, not bad. Phew. Finally we've arrived here. Now I'm going to take a break at the Pokemon Center. Yeah, I don't blame you. Oh, hi Pokeax. I'm an assistant. You said to give you the gift. I think we have actually caught 50 Pokemon. Let me see. You've been really busy. Here, this is for you. Oh, an amulet coin. Thank you. Pretty useful, but like I said in, I think it was last episode, don't really need um, like anything for money. Got TM for roost as well. Hope you have enough supplies with you because the way to Slateburg City will not be a walk in the park. Came to this area to train. I'll, it's just. It's not just the trainers and wild Pokemon that pose challenge, it's the whole environment. You'll see what I mean once you get there. So from the sounds of it, we've got a bit of a trek. So let's start then, heading along this bridge. Oh, is that a tank? Got a Habanberry. We regulate the flow of water through the generators here. When no power is needed, we close the dam and open it again when we need power. Most of the time, however, this lock is open. We just need quite a lot of electricity in terror, don't we? By damming the water, we regularly interrupt its flow. This ensures that many things can accumulate in the water. So you have to clean our dam regularly to avoid problems and damage to the generators. Matang is really a great help to us in this work. Okay, so that's why there's just a random Matang. Um, head up then, route 21, turn the repel off for now, oh Patrice he's got another item, uh, it's just an escape route, now we can leave Magmar, you are our opponent, prepare yourself, please then have something that's strong against fire, oh Heracross, okay, Although it's raining, so that's going to affect damage. That was a crit as well. Um, Toxic Rogue, we can just go Gardevoir. One side kick and bye bye Toxic Rogue. Does suck a punch or so. And Primo, I'll just stay in. Dazzling Gleam. Close combat really did not do much. Right, heal up Magma. Continue on. What can we find here? Two new Pokemon, but nothing too crazy you can find Gyarados with a super rod there a Surskit it's still a pretty long way to Lightburg City so we've been told 
Okay, for it. Let's go for a Mac Punch. Doesn't actually do that much. Got the flame body off her. That could come in clutch. Oh, you just super fanged us. Yeah, we kind of do need to evolve because Magmar's not the bulkiest at the moment. That takes up to 42, so we should now evolve, I think. Pachirisu, let's go Torterra. And EQ, oh, super fang, I hate that move. Clefable, go Drapion and go for a poison gel. Does take it quite well though. Okay, let's see if it evolves. Yes, it does. So you don't have to use the item on him. I mean, what do people prefer? Electivire or Magmortar? I think Magmortar just looks so cool. Like, it's literally got cannons on its arms, pretty much. Um, we won't learn Fire Blaster. We also won't learn Sunny Death. I've got a Mental Herb. What's going on over there? Why is there like a load of Bibril? Don't know if I used a repel. No, I didn't. I've got an item here, which I can't seem to get to. And it's just a lax incense. There's actually quite a bit here. We've got an elixir. Ah, oh, trainer bell. Okay, an Ursa ring. Forgot to heal again. Mac punch does just under half. Do get the flame body off there. Um, let's go. Who should we switch to? Masquerade. Get an intimidate off as well. Oh, that's annoying. Um, bug buzz. And another one. Shiftry, did you not just see that bug buzz? I mean, I wouldn't even bother sending you out. Impending doom. To the north you'll find Slatberg City, but to the west there is a very special cave. Okay. So, let's see if we can get to this cave. Oh, I forgot to heal again. It's okay, because we weren't standing against Claydot anyway. You're going to go for a ground move, I'm sure of it. There we go. Is Bug Boss super effective? Yeah, it is. Masquerade just doesn't have that power. Um, Slow King can go Pachirisu. Pretty sure this is bulky Pokemon though. So an electro web first. Yep, that literally did not touch it. We dodged the Zen head, but the see how much electro web does now. It does a decent chunk. And down goes the slow king. Takes up to 42. Better be prepared for anything. I mean, when we're going to learn Thunderbolt? Okay, Hyper Potion, Magmortar, and then might as well use two potions for the rest.
what's this say? Route 22. Oh, okay. This must be where Slateberg City is then. Ha! Huh. Well, look who we have here. Oh, it's another Logan battle. Seems we've gotten a lot stronger. I see you already have five gym badges too. I just went to Slateberg City and defeated the gym leader there and got my sixth gym badge. I must say, this Aqua was really not a big challenge for me and my Pokemon. I think I have now put together the perfect Pokemon team for me. Haha, <laughs> what? This gym leader Aqua. Oh, it's our sister. How pathetic. I guess your family just lacks that last a bit of talent to keep up with me here. Huh? Uh, are you mad? Then prove me wrong, Summit Child. Honestly, I cannot wait to finally put an end to this guy. Um, Pupitar, we can go Torterra. Razor Lee. Does KO. Um, Gyarados, okay. This is a one way ticket to death. What? How has that done so little damage? Okay, then, Magmortar. Thunder Punch. Out comes a bomber snare. You just change the weather as well, so fire punches now do more damage. And Typhlosion. Hmm. We'll go Torterra. Not sure if we live a hit though. Especially not being two levels under. Why don't you go for Focus Blast? That did a ton of damage though. Uh, and you got a Pataya Berry. Come on, crit, 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 crit. Oh no. I mean, we'll heal for the sake of it, but. In fact, no, I won't. I'm gonna revive. Pachirisu. And what about the look of that? Scissor. So Magmort is actually a good counter to a lot of his team. Fire Punch. Um, Shell Gun. Uh, God of War. I was gonna go Masquerade and then Icy Wind, but then completely remembered we've got a fairy type. Dazzling Gleam. It's got a quick claw. Misses attack anyway. So, not too bad. I mean, his Typhlosion was getting a bit crazy, but. Didn't actually go for the correct moves. Hmm. Looks like you do have a spark of talent. Anyway, I don't care about this defeat. I can see that you and your Pokemon are already stagnating in strength. We on the other end are only at the beginning of our ascent. I'll become the most powerful Pokemon trainer in Terra. I will never lose to a weakling like you again. Count on it. And now have fun with your little family reunion. Adios. I mean, definitely jackass. 100% jackass. Okay, so we've arrived at Slateberg City. We're going to end the episode there. So, next episode, we're going to go back and look for this special cave that was apparently to the west. As long as that doesn't take too long, then we'll explore Slateberg City and potentially get our sixth gym badge. But thank you everyone for watching and hope to see you all next time.